Over the past two days, our leaders discussed several important tar topics, ranging from the increased readiness and preparedness of our forces to meet all the security challenges that our alliance faces, as well as relations with Russia, and this morning, the welcoming of Montenegro's bid to join the alliance. As you're aware, we face unprecedented security challenges because of the rise of violent extremism, both at home and abroad, and NATO is responding to those challenges. We must be able to respond to challenges from the north, south, and east at the same time. We are not doing one at the cost of any other. The increased readiness and preparedness of our forces is extremely crucial as we move forward and beyond the Warsaw Summit. Last week, I was able to visit several of our nation's troops as they trained together on various military tactics and operations. This type of training sends a very clear message that NATO is poised and ready to defend our allies. We will continue to challenge ourselves with ways to strengthen our collective defense. Over the next few months, I'll remain engaged with nations as both NATO and national military authorities make vital decisions because timely decision-making is really key at this point. 